Mayor Breed owes the city of San Francisco an apology. But over 25% of our police department has essentially been eviscerated since I left. That is not a commitment to public safety. I have provided the police officers with the support and the 21st century technology that they need to do their jobs, which is why crime's down in the first place. And the Police Officers Association endorsed me only. Things got heated in San Francisco's mayoral debate between Mayor London Breed and her political opponents. She faced off in the televised debate against former interim mayor Mark Farrell, Daniel Lurie, Aaron Peskin, and Asha Safai. Farrell blamed Breed for the recent shooting of San Francisco 49ers rookie Ricky Pearsall in Union Square, and Safai pushed back on Breed's claim that crime is down. You, you know what bothers me the most listening to the mayor is that to consistently tell people crime is down is gaslighting. Crime is happening at a brazen level. Crime statistically might be down, but property crime is not. And that's what makes people the angriest. To hear that crime is down, things are getting better. Yes, they might be on the number side, but people don't feel it because they're seeing it on a daily basis. Breed was also in the hot seat for claims of mismanagement and other problems involving her signature Dreamkeeper initiative, a $44 million program to help the black community. Local reports raise questions about program spending and management. San Francisco has 34,000 employees, and from time to time, we have had challenges with some of them. And I want to be very clear. I have held myself accountable. I immediately asked for and received her resignation. And even before this probe started, we had already paused funding on issuing funding out of the Dreamkeeper initiative. The candidates sparred over each other's controversies, including accusations of favoritism, conflicts of interest, and relations with the city.